You can often determine that a defrost heater is burned out by simply checking to see if the component is visibly broken or blistering. But since you can't always tell by looking, it's best to perform a continuity test. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the component. If the component has continuity, it should be functioning properly. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the component is burned out. Defrost heaters come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity in the same way. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the defrost heater you're testing has been removed or isolated from the appliance. Now, use a probe to touch one of the component's terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows a result between 0 and 50 ohms of resistance, the component has continuity. If the needle does not move, or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the component is burned out and will need to be replaced.